Right, um, so as I was saying before the, the break, I think there are three things that I wanted to do before we start the call in about 15 minutes. The first thing is I chose Pasquale, Pasquale no. to, to take the role of facilitator. What advice would you like to give to Pasquale to, um, about how we should approach this? From your own experience, you all have experience of mm -hmm. conference calling and, mm -hmm. and video conferencing. What kinds of things have you noticed from your own experience that would be useful for Pasquale to, uh, to remember? The opening, uh, a warm welcome. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. What makes us uh, successful? Uh, okay, um, you don't know these people, do you? No. no. So, if you don't know them, that's okay. what we well, okay. naturally yeah. want to do, perhaps. Uh, just ask to, to introduce themselves. Yeah, okay. 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 Good. So, warm welcome. Introduction. Names would be good. Yeah. Anything else? But from your experience, Pascal, yeah, well, usually the, the role in the company that they have. Okay. Names and that position. So a little bit of personal information. So you might be prepared as well to give a very brief okay. uh, bio of yourself, if you like. Which is really the name, the company, and your position within the company. Okay, so let me get that's that's the beginning. On the control, what about... Uh, Do we have the uh, common understanding of the topics of today? You agree about them uh, again? Agreement. Agreement. Okay. Objective okay. discussion. So... Okay. Which should be <laughs> straightforward, but let's make sure that it's clear to everybody on both sides of the, uh, of the screen. Okay, what else? Again, from your experience, what are, what are the problems that you've encountered with conference calling or with communicating in this way? Communication uh, rules, maybe. Uh, okay. Communication okay. rules, and uh, do we have the same conditions, like how, how long time? Uh, okay. Timing, yes, I said about... 40 minutes, yeah. maximum. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you reach the solution after 20 minutes, I'd be amazed. <laughs> <laughs> so I absolutely don't think it's, it's likely. It. Um, what makes it different when you're around the table talking to each other compared with talking to a, a video screen, a television screen with people? Because if you, if you look at where you are on this screen, um, it's not always so easy to necessarily identify who is speaking. Mm. That's one of the problems we found last week. So what do you think is a practical solution to that? So uh, some hands are like this. In this case, Pascal, it's, it's, it's actually more difficult for you to intervene with a lot of content because I think in conference calls very often uh, the facilitator, which is another name we give to this person, is usually concentrating fully on trying to manage the communication. Yeah. So, so let's use uh, this is this was my uh, point. Let's use names when giving opinions mm. and when uh, responding mm. and when. Questioning. And this is quite a difficult thing to remember because we don't normally do that when we're around the table. But I think in a conference call, from my experience, it can make the process more uh, effective, right. more efficient. With more discipline. 
a bit more discipline, but also it's clearer who you are speaking to. It's clearer. So that, therefore, I would say as a facilitator, yeah. that we need a kind of structure organizing of a structure for these 40 minutes. Okay. How do we want to run through this session, right? Okay. Structure for the call. Or, to follow call yeah, right? or maybe we could also call it a procedure. Procedure. A suggested procedure. Yeah. Okay. So I mean this is a another fact. What can I ask you a quick question? What's the difference between a procedure and a process? What's the difference? A procedure is the framework for a process. Okay, what's the process? <laughs> <It's a laughs> <laughs> <laughs> procedure has uh, some logic in the order. Okay. However, process is just process, don't have a logic. Uh, okay, a process, I mean, I always think of the, yeah, I think that's both of those things are getting close. It's, a process is what happens, a series of actions. And a procedure is how they should happen, the best way. Okay. Yes, the, the acceptable uh, way of carrying out a, a process. So this is a process, but it needs some kind of procedure, some guidelines. So now it's here. To a certain extent, we'll have to see how this goes. We'll have to see how this goes once we start. But I think once we start getting into it, it will be reasonably successful. If anything is going really wrong at any point, or, or is that breaking down for whatever reason, I've got an iPad, and on my iPad I will write in big letters a suggestion about how to move it on, or if there is any vocabulary you need. Okay. Um, so without speaking, I will hold it up and... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I see. Because that's my... It's a bit like well, the person in the theatre who is standing next yeah, to the yeah, stage yeah, and the know. actor forgets their words or something. So, uh, <laughs> let's... Uh, let's see. Can you hear us? Yes, I think okay. at the moment it's... It's okay. good. Can you understand us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. very well, and thanks. Okay. So okay, now it's better. Okay. 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 Great. So welcome everybody to this uh, conference call, and very, I'm very glad uh, to have all of you here. The purpose of this meeting is to agree on uh, um, a set of courses that we, that our company has uh, luckily uh, won in a, in a tender. Uh, before we start, uh, I would like just I will just kindly ask you to briefly introduce yourself, your names, and uh, what do you do in your life, just to to get familiar with each other. May we start? Okay, that would be a, a good idea. Uh, shall I start? This is yeah, right? please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. My name is Markus Baumgartner. I'm from Switzerland. I work in the financial department as a controller, and I've been here since last Sunday, uh, since this Sunday weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. My name is uh, Thomas. Uh, I come from uh, Switzerland also. Uh, it's my second day in uh, Canterbury, and I work as a consultant. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm the next. Hello, my name is Andy, I'm from Germany. <laughs> I'm for one week here, and I'm a key account manager. Okay, okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. Please. Oh. Charles Bradley, from, from which part of Switzerland? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the German part of Switzerland. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, can I introduce myself? Uh, I'm Atsushi from Japan. Nice to meet you. And I'm a marketing manager of uh, Mitsubishi Corporation. Nice to meet you. It's also a pleasure for me to meet you. My name is Richard. I'm coming from Germany. Uh, the south of Germany, and I'm working for Mercedes-Benz uh, 
subsidiary uh, called Dana Financial Services in, in, in headquarters in Stuttgart. Okay, uh, nice to meet you too. Uh, my name is Franz Topovec. I I'm here for one week and I work as a financial controller at the airport in Vienna. So, uh, my name is Pasquale. I am purchasing manager for Fiat Chrysler Group. I'm here since uh, yesterday. Before we, um, we go on into the conversation, uh, I would suggest just a few guidelines uh, because of the medium that we are uh, using. So, uh, because we are in a, a, a conference or video conference, I would suggest to please avoid interrupting each other, otherwise it becomes quite difficult to, to understand from both sides. Uh, the other um, suggestion would be to use, to raise your hand when you want to talk, so that everybody is, is aware of this and also to uh, always say your name before you start talking so that everybody can, from each side, can see who is talking on the other side and remember and remember the names. At least for the first time, just, just please restate your name so that everybody uh, can, uh, can, uh, can understand. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's, would this be okay to you? Do you agree? Do you agree? Sorry, we can't understand you anymore at the moment. Okay. Uh, we, okay, we, now it's clear. Okay. Do you agree with this uh, guidelines? Should I repeat it again? If you, if you do not, oh, yes, we, please. Yes, we agree. For the first time, we agree, yes. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not common for a video conference because now we can see us together, together here and see, so, yeah. Okay. That's okay. Okay, okay. So, um, just to, to restate, uh, I think now we can start, we can really start. So, just to restate, the objective of this, of this meeting is to decide the, the, uh, which school will hold the courses for this specific uh, Swiss watch manufacturer um, training needs. Uh, my suggestion uh, to, to structure this, um, this, com this video conference will be to spend a few minutes, and I would suggest five minutes each from both sides to highlight which are the, uh, the, the positive of each school and, and then to start the discussion about it. That, does uh, this sound good to you? Uh, not really. Sorry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we can reschedule uh, a video conference for next week and uh, decide with information uh, that is missing at this point. Uh, sounds good, uh, this for, for you? Yeah, for sure. Yes, I yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, okay. Perfect. Complete agree. <laughs> <laughs> Don't there are any other questions or other topics uh, you plan to discuss about? Not at the moment. Okay. Maybe later. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, so I, think, yeah. oh, I, think, I think we have a nice problem to manage. We have clients that want to come to English and to learn English. Right. So that That's is true. very that yeah. is very motivating. Yeah. And I think we will find a solution and I'm convinced we will find one. Well, eh? Okay. Great. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, so see you yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I Excellent. Thought. So yeah, I think we'll call it today there. Thank you very much.
for your participation and enjoy the rest of your time in Canterbury. And if you'd like to say goodbye to each other, you can <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> Be successful. <laughs> enjoy. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Um, Great. It's got it. Great job. Okay. <laughs> we reached an agreement to postpone the decision. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, the decision. But the yeah. Italian way to do things. Our so applause was for the kind of uh, of doing this this job, and uh, I, I would say it was well done uh, from your side. So thank you for your for your chairing yeah. this meeting. Yes, I thought you were pushing and not, yeah. not listening. Well, again, I mean, that could be to do with, I, I think you could say, <laughs> it's a very, very um, unsophisticated analysis, but you could argue that the higher your level of the language, the easier it is, the more tools you have to right. pull from yeah. people. Because yeah. yeah. you have to be more sophisticated about okay. it. Whereas perhaps, the less vocabulary or grammatical variety you have, the easier it is to, to push. Mm. I mean, that, that's certainly, yeah, I mean, I think that is, from my experience, I would say mm. that's one observation that is generally speaking true. I mean, I thought, you know, you were, you were trying to pull a little bit more than push in that sense, but yes, it's, but it's not only connected to the language you use, I think it's also, it can be connected to these these factors as well. The tone of voice, mm. if it's quite high, How? or the, the loudness, or the mm. the speed, even that somebody is speaking, mm. can, mm. It, it has a an effect on the attitude, the way that we perceive um, somebody's communication. From each point of view, did you did you feel? Comfortable with the situation? Uh, I mean, you were, you, you have a pretty quite, good level of language. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not really, they're very confident, but um, some, no. somehow. But it was, you know, you were, you were good. I think you used a relatively diplomatic style of language. You, your tone of voice as well is, is fairly quiet, it's not too loud. Mm -hmm. Because at some point there was, I, which guy was he? He was speaking quite loud. Thomas. 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 I mean, I'm, it does have an impact. No, the middle one. Yeah. Receive yeah. the message. Yeah. Um, that's certainly one of my comments, is not only about what language you use, but how you deliver mm -hmm. the language. Because it's going to affect mm -hmm. the way in which the message is received, which affects things like um, intonation. Mm -hmm. you know? It's things like pausing. I think I often refer to the power of the pause. I want to say pause, I don't mean for 30 seconds or something where people think, hello, what's happened? No, I mean just two seconds or something, or even a second. When you're saying something, when you're presenting an idea, to give time to the other person to assimilate mm. that idea, to kind of process, to process it as it goes through. Because at times, I don't think it happens so much here, but certainly my feedback for Thomas would be, gosh, you spoke very fast. And there was no pause. And there was a lot of information coming out all at the same time. And it's quite, it's not so easy to process that, that information. If you have a high level of English, maybe it's not such a problem. But again, working internationally, you don't know what level of English your counterparts might have. So it's something to consider. So what kind of expression could you use if you haven't said anything for, for a little while and then you think, I don't want to contribute here. How do you, um, how do you enter a conversation? What can you actually say or do? to stop somebody from in around the table it's easy, you just you know, you can use your facial expression, you can attract the attention. In this context it's much more difficult. How can you do it? I know. I have a secret way. It's what I mentioned earlier. If you use mm. Ah, 
Ah, the name. Yeah, the name. But I mean, the name. The name. Usually on the whole, it was you performed really well. So thank you very much. It's nearly quarter past five, so I'll stop. I've had overtime today because I've already done one session. <laughs> <laughs> You're all exhausted, and I'm full of energy. So I'm good. <laughs>